episode five of the ultimatum this is our last episode with our our trial marriages uh keep stumbling with that I, I i just never fell in love with this whole trial marriage term like no they're just ha they're just living together for three weeks there's no trial marriage here uh just just silliness um where'd these dogs come from like how like we're episode five and all of a sudden everybody's got a dog now i think mean, madeline had two dogs uh like how do they have like why is it episode five and all of a sudden the dogs show up uh doesn't make any sense to me but uh for whatever reason all the couples have dogs now so we've talked about that let's move on let's jump into our couples uh we should probably start with shanique and zay so they have so while we ended sort of the end of the last episode uh right at the end of the guys and the girls night out so our couples are coming back together they're intoxicated and for two couples in particular creates a uh, interesting scenario so shanique and zay you know they come back zay's a little heated uh, he, he just had the little interaction with Colby and he basically s just starts a fight with Shanique. You know, I don't think his intent was to start the fight, but, you know, he got, he got a little silly and a little aggressive with how he was approaching things, wouldn't let Shanique talk, and it, things blew way out of proportion. Alcohol was not their friends in this situation. Uh, and you know, I thought that this had probably damaged their, any, any sort of potential between Shanique and Zay, but, uh, on the tail end of this, Shanique goes and meets with Randall. They meet up, you know, I think that kind of defeats the purpose of the trial marriage. If you can just go and just meet up with your, with your original partner, but they did, and it felt like a huge mistake. Shanique was mad at Randall for being in the situation that she put him in. It was, it was very, very silly to me. You know, uh, like, you, if you, yeah, you just can't do that. Like, you created the situation, Shanique. You gave Randall the ultimatum. You can't be mad for deciding that you went to go on that to go on this show like what is he supposed to do you like uh the whole point is you explore another relationship and then come back to your relig original relationship to see uh if what you what you originally had is what you wanted or if you want to move on um so kind of kind of silly in my opinion but we we end that, Shanique hops in the car, drives away, and Shanique is kind of realizing that Randall could be moving on. Uh, from there, things start to heat up between Shanique and Zay. Something happened in that bed. I don't know what. Maybe they were just being, being cuddle buddies. You know, maybe, maybe the one pillow on Shanique's side of the, uh, the bed quit working, so she had to come over to Zay's side to share that pillow for a little while. We don't know what happened, but something happened there. And then on their final night, we saw Shanique and Zay share a pretty passionate kiss at their dinner. So I'd be interested to see what the feelings are gonna be leaving their relationship their their relationship and going back to their really original relationships next week uh from there we might as well jump over to madeline and randall since we already had a little bit about randall uh but becoming very clear that madeline doesn't care about her relationship with colby but randall still cares about his relationship with Shanique. Uh, and that's not to say that that's proof that Randall wants to get back together with Shanique. He just knows that he doesn't want to do something that will irreparably damage things with Shanique uh, to, to, in case they do get back 
together. Uh, once again, after the guys and girls night out, uh, Randall and Madeline come together both a little drunk. Pretty clear what Madeline wants to do. She wants to get in bed and have sex with Randall. Uh, Randall seems like he's not really on board. He kind of pulls away from the situation and then proceeds to start telling Madeline about what happened with Colby. And I don't know what was exactly going on here, but Randall just would not stop. You know, Madeline very clearly didn't want to have that conversation. She didn't want to hear what Randall was saying. And Randall just kept pushing things and pushing things and pushing things, which eventually leads to Madeline trying to walk away with the dogs, the magical appearing dogs but got trapped waiting for an elevator and they end up leaving together. Um, I like, don't really know where, where these two end. Like there's, there's definitely a connection here between Madeline and Randall. Is it more than just sexual? I really don't know. Uh, and, and I'm very interested to see what's going to happen now when these two go back to their original couples, because I really feel like Madeline, uh, just, she wants to break up with Colby. I very much feel that. And Randall, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but because of what happened, Shanique, uh, looks like she's, she's preparing herself to move on here in these final days. And it's going to be a very interesting situation next episode. Uh, next couple, uh, let's jump over to Ray and Jake. Uh, Jake, you know, this is, this is in the drunken fallout of the guys and girls night. Jake tells Ray that he wants to leave with her. You know, you can't be any clearer than that in my opinion. You know, no, I love yous were exchanged, but that's, that's pushing down that line in my opinion. Uh, they are by far the best couple and out of all the trial marriages, I think they are probably going to be the only one that leaves together. Um, beyond that, I think that there's definitely going to be some other breakups, but this couple feels like the only one who uh, is going to uh, leave, yeah, leave as a new couple. Um, yeah, not much else to say about them. They're just the best couple. The end. Colby and April. Uh, we really did not see much of them. You know, they popped on for five seconds to let us know April is sick. And then all of a sudden they're uh, out playing polo. I didn't even know that that was like a real thing. Uh, I, th I thought polo was fake, to be honest. I did not, not realize that that was a thing people just went and did but apparently it is, and Colby is into polo. All right. Um, I'm like, as we're watching them, like I'm kind of thinking to myself, like not, no chance, no chance that these two walk away together. Like they could walk away single, but we just haven't seen any sort of connection from them over these three weeks. And then we hit that final bedroom scene and I started to question things. You know, they had their their Feelings Connect 4 game where they dropped a piece and then they said something about why they connected with the other person. And that led to the final kiss, which might be the most passionate kiss we've seen all season long. And from these two, I thought they were just riding it out till the end of that third week, but things got very hot and heavy very quickly. And, you know, I think that could bring a lot more confusion into uh, getting back with the original couples uh, and might give them both a little bit more willingness to uh, leave their partners and walk away at the end. So that's it for episode five. Uh, next three episodes should be our original couples back together. I'm expecting a lot of arguments uh, and a lot of disagreements uh, over 
things that have come up over uh, these trial marriages. So that's it for now. As always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later.